This is everything you need to know about gradient network. Gradient network is something I'm very, very bullish on. I'm going to tell you what the product market fit is, how you can use it so you can potentially get a decent airdrop and why I think this will blow up. And also if you miss grass recently, then don't miss this. Let's dive in. Firstly to Twitter, gradient network, the open layer for edge compute on Solana. Most people should know what an open layer is. It's not a blockchain per se, but it's more of an open permissionless environment, or at least that's what's been worked on. It's it's open, like a an open kind of resource. And then edge compute is something which a lot of people will not understand. The vast majority of people won't because it's new. Edge compute is essentially where you've got small computers or smaller servers around many, many different cities in the world. So when you're trying to ping information, you don't have to ping it from say Australia to Hong Kong or maybe New York City to LA. You can have something very local, which we'll go over a little bit later, but this is 100% the future. Who's a part of the team? Yuan is, and I have no idea who else is yet because it's only just coming to my actual radar. However, he was previously at Helium and at Helium, he was a head of growth. Now, before I actually show you the DAP, they did actually do some funding. So they complete a new round of financing, Pantera Capital and others participate. You can see it here. And this is it here, Pantera, Multicoin, Hongshan. There are other ones as well, but these are some of the main ones. And this funding was completed September 12th, 2024. So this is still very, very new. Now, this is what the web page looks like. And up the top here, you can see the extension. This is the gradient extension. I also have the grass extension here. These are running in their own browser profile. More on that a little bit later. So I only just jumped into this yesterday. It was put out on a live stream. We did some research into it and we walked away with a bullish rating. So very, very new. There's a referral system. Definitely use that. But what exactly is it? What are we actually doing? So all we're doing in this first stage is we're installing an extension which uses less than about one megabyte per month. And then this will ping from this node which I did not name, but it's an unorthodox creep. It will ping to another node on the network. And there's hundreds of thousands of nodes. It will ping and it'll ping and it'll ping because the whole key when it comes to edge compute is low latency. So what does low latency mean? It means your ping time when you're actually sending like a message from you to a server and get it back, something like that. It needs to be very, very low. So as an example, with very, very decent internet, I have a ping of like one millisecond or two milliseconds, something really, really small. However, if I have to go and ping something from Portugal to the US or Australia, the ping time is crazy, like 20, 30, 200. If I use a VPN in a different country, it's the same deal. Even if you've got decent throughput, like a, a gigabit connection, latency matters. So the first step of gradient is you set up the Sentry node. Everyone should set this up, refer your friends, and get amongst it for sure. You leave this on 24 seven and essentially what the first stage is, is just working out what pings and what latency actually works like. More of maybe a bit of a proof of concept. But why does this actually have product market fit? So we live in this world where we're starting to use AI far more. AI will become absolutely crazy. It will be very difficult to not live without AI. And we have things like self-driving cars. So self-driving cars that become more and more of a mainstay. Tesla, many people are going to have a Tesla and they will be all self-driving probably in 10 years or something like that. So what happens is it records all this information and then it takes this information and needs to ping it to a server. Now, if they have servers in like 10 different countries, that ping time for real-time analysis of information, it's not gonna work. So you'd wanna have a, more of a decentralized kind of serverless setup with you know hundreds of thousands of these different small servers where it can ping information, get it back very, very quickly. And that way your car can make the right decision. That's just one use case. Ideally, I'll get on a podcast with the founder and we can find out quite a few of the other different use cases. However, essentially, you do want a low latency ping whenever possible with everything you do with the internet. Now, they did do a presentation at Breakpoint. It will be linked below. You can check this out. Essentially, there's a couple of different major use cases for what they're building. You've got serverless functions. So serverless essentially means that you're using like cloud computing, like AWS and things like that. So you can spin up something very, very quickly. As an example, if you've built an DAP and then it starts to go bigger and bigger, more viral, you're gonna need different servers in different countries in order to take that on. We've also got CDN and streaming. CDN is content delivery network and streaming, we know what streaming videos is. So with CDN, if you've got a very busy website or a very busy app, 
you want to actually have the content in different places around the globe. Otherwise, it's going to pull that kind of latency. Uh, so CDNs are popular, and I even have them set up on some of the websites that I look after. Then AI inference. Everyone knows what AI is. So AI, the first part is training on a model. So it goes in, has a look at a thousand pictures of dogs or a million pictures of dogs, and it learns what a dog is. And then inference is taking the information that it needs to learn, or it has learned rather, and then it takes that information and it can apply it to the next photo to then say, this dog is this breed or this dog is this breed. It's essentially taking the data that it learned with its model to actually go and make a decision on some new bit of information. So inference is massive. You can see there's down here, maybe an expectancy on what the net worth of these industries is each year. And I think this is not quite super high. Uh, I think it's worth more than that is what I'm trying to say. But either way, there's a lot of money in this game. Now this is the gradient network as it was shown at Breakpoint. So in September, they had 70,000 verified nodes that had already been online for like seven days. So they did very, very well. A lot of these would be probably airdrop farmed. So there will be Sybils, which they'll have to exclude. Same thing with Grass. You know, they have millions of users. Probably, uh, you know, the vast majority could even be actual Sybils. So that's not really a, an ideal thing at all. But either way, it's already got traction and it's less than two months old. Now, when you're setting up an account, you're probably going to have this frequently asked question. How many can I set up? How many nodes can I have? So each user should only register for only one account. You've got something like this, as opposed to one user going multiple. It's one century node per device. So you want to have, this is device one. You're not going to have two different nodes, say on one node on one browser profile, another node on another. If it's a separate device, that is okay. And there's some other rules on multiple century nodes. Basically the rewards will be split if they are in the same IP. So I have my device here, one node, and I've got another device for my wife. And that's all we've got. There are some IP addresses that are not supported. Can't use proxies, VPNs, data centers, cloud hosting and IPs flagged for fraudulent activities. Now, when you go and sign up, you can sign up with a Google account or just an email and a password. Use my referral. And then when you're actually in, you'll just click to join. You can go ahead and connect to a Twitter. It doesn't have any posting rights or anything like that. You don't have to do it. Just get your extra EXP. And you also follow the official Twitter account. However, this has been pending since yesterday. The next step is you just click on this, add to Chrome, and this will link you to the Chrome web store. This is it right here, the Gradient Sentry node. It's got a decent number of star ratings and over 600,000 users. Down here, you can see it uses less than one megabyte of data per month. If you add it to Chrome or Brave and it works very, very simply, you have to do this on an actual desktop. It's not available on mobile. Now, this is all very, very new to me. Even though research has been done, we need to see how things go. It's just putting it on your radar right now and it is a strong actionable that you actually get involved with this. These sort of things, they have so much product market fit. If you snooze, you lose, don't snooze. What you want to do is you want to try and up your EXP. You'll get more EXP by actually just leaving it on. So now I leave this computer on. You notice in this profile, I've only got two different extensions. I have Grass and I have Gradient. Soulflare Wallet, MetaMask, all those, they're in a different profile. If you want to set up a separate profile, you come in here, jump into settings, and you can create a different profile. I have different profiles for different things, which is a good security tip. If you're super security conscious, you may want to run anything like this on a completely separate computer. Either way, there's nothing that I don't trust about grading all grass. However, just making it known that I do have it for good operational security in its own dedicated browser profile. Then how it works is apparently every 10 minutes, you're supposed to get a tap. However, today, maybe there's too many users or whatnot. There is an issue with getting multiple taps, but essentially I leave it on. We have uptime. Unfortunately, the computer went to sleep last night, but it should be on. And then we get rewarded with, I'm guessing, some sort of XP points or something like that. When you do sign up, please use my referral link. It doesn't cost you anything and you do get a bonus. So use that. And then when you refer your own friends, send them to this video or send them to this video and shield them your own referral link. If you have a look at referrals, you can see there is a point system here, but you're not going to actually see an active referral until it's achieved 72 hours of uptime. Now, if you've watched some of my content before, you may have seen that I reference Kyle Samani quite often. He's a real kind of Solana Maxi, a very, very intelligent person. Although I'm not a Solana Maxi, it is definitely my core thesis. I think anything on Solana that's done well should ultimately find product market fit. 
Now they've gone ahead and invested in three different deep ends, pipe, gradient, and crunch. So I'll be checking out these other two as well. But for now, definitely get amongst gradient. Let me know your thoughts. If you have any questions, put them below. Ideally, we can do a live stream in the future with the founder. Your actionable for the day is get amongst it. This is pure alpha. Thank <laughs> you.